Hi everyone, my name's Maya and welcome back to my Notes on Nightjar series. I'm a 19 year old birder, wildlife photographer and naturalist who recently completed a placement with the Dorset Nightjar study group. Today's video is all about the Nightjar's breeding behaviour and nesting habits. They nest on the ground in scrapes on heathland and young conifer woods where eggs will be laid straight on to the bare earth. Two eggs are laid with first clutches being from around the 23rd of May to the 23rd of July. Over the summer they will have one to two broods. Did you know eggs are incubated by both male and female birds? It's fascinating how they can fit two broods into such a short summer before heading South Africa. They do this by both parents caring for first brood chicks until they're about 12 days old, when the female abandons them to start a new nest, leaving them out to look after them until they fledge. The second clutch will hatch around when the first brood become independent, allowing the male to help raise them. During the breeding season, night jars will leave their roof site nearby the incubating female in the evening and chair at different song posts within its territory. It will then take over incubation from the female or go foraging. However, the night jar's love life isn't all that simple. Females sometimes, it could be often, change mates between broods or go elsewhere for extra pair copulations meaning they mate with another male that is not the one they are paired with. When we have caught females, they have often been from kilometres away from their nest, shown from tracking data. This means they could be on the lookout for a new male. Finally, research has shown that they synchronise with the lunar cycle. They will lay their first egg on the day of a full moon, but this is only if the full moon is during the first two weeks of June. Any earlier and they wouldn't be ready to lay eggs, any later and she would have to wait to lay her eggs and would put her at a disadvantage. So that was a short video about the European night jars, breeding behaviour and nesting habits. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to catch up on my last video where I gave a short introduction on the species itself. In my next episode, I'll be looking at the night jars migration.